What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about why I decided to cancel my BoxyCharm subscription. I've had BoxyCharm for about a year now or maybe just slightly over a year. Uh, and I have really enjoyed my time. I have discovered some very unique products. Subscription services are great because they give you exposure to things that you otherwise may not have had exposure to. Now, BoxyCharm is one of the most popular subscription services out there. They usually feature in their boxes, they usually feature in their boxes, makeup products, um, anything for your eyes, lips, face, and now complexion products. Um, they will oftentimes have skincare, which I love because it's usually quality skincare um, from all sorts of brands. The cool thing about BoxyCharm is that you're supposed to, for your base box, which is $25, get five to seven products, I believe it is, or maybe it's five to six products. Don't quote me on the uh, sixth or seventh product, but you're supposed to get five products for sure. Um, your larger box, like premium, um, you get anywhere between five and seven products, I believe it is. And then I think for the um, luxe box, it's like seven to eight or something like that, or eight to 10, I don't know, because I've never gotten that box. Now the premium box is $35 a month and I believe in order to subscribe for the premium box you have to have the base subscription which is the $25 box. So essentially you have to subscribe and receive both of their boxes if you want to go, if you want a premium box. You can't have one without the other. Premium has to come with the base. So we're talking $60 a month, which is actually really good because I can get on Sephora's website right now, pick up two products and I'm already at $60 or one product and, and I'm already at $60. So it really is worth the money. One of the other cool things about um, BoxyCharm is that they do their pop-ups and add-ons. Now I'm not an expert in the pop what BoxyCharm pop-up versus BoxyCharm add-ons are, but what I do know is that you get really incredible products for or access to them for a lot less uh, than you would if you purchase them from another platform, whether it be Beautylish, Sephora, Ulta, Walmart, sometimes even, it is heavily discounted. And they're usually luxury products, something that you're gonna have to pay a premium for if you buy it outside of that. So I say all that to say there are so many advantages to having subscription services and BoxyCharm is one of the largest, but then you also have um, let's see, FabFitFun, you have, and FabFitFun does a variety of things, so it's a little bit different. They're not all like beauty. Um, you also would have Ipsy, and then Ipsy has their ups, upgraded bags, and there's, um, you know, there's a plethora of them out there, guys. The entire point is there is benefit to them, and if you're trying to like build a collection, like let's say you're starting from scratch, you don't have a lot, and you don't have a large budget, but you can afford $25 a month. Um, BoxyCharm would be a great place to start. However, there are some things that I would like to share with you based on my one year plus subscription and experience with the company. So we have a variety of things here that came in my last premium box and my last base box, as well as some add-on items that I picked up. And like I said, I'm no expert in the pop-up versus uh, add-ons, but to me, I really don't think there's a really big, there's a big difference. They just offer them at different times of the month. Um, I usually pick something up just because the prices are so heavily discounted and they're products that I'm usually interested in. The last time that I went ahead and purchased from BoxyCharm, I had already made up in my mind that I was canceling my subscription. So um, I had already canceled my premium box and I had, well, actually placed the order for pop-up or add-on, whichever one it was, and then I canceled those uh, two subscriptions. And before I canceled, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and give BoxyCharm some feedback. So back in August, I had placed an add-on order for a significant amount of product, okay? I probably, I bought about 12 items, that's a lot. And um, one of my items, first of all, it took quite a while to come. I had to keep emailing and saying, because it was over a month. And they do tell you that it could take a, uh, basically till the next month for them to ship it out. Uh, when they start shipping out the next month's base and premium boxes, which I was totally prepared for, but that didn't happen. When I uh, started realizing that all 12 items, nothing had shipped and it was well over a month's time frame, I had purchased these products back in like 
late July for August's delivery because it was an August, you know, shipment. I turned around and I hadn't seen anything. So I emailed Boxy and it took like three weeks for somebody to get back to me. Finally, I heard from someone and the representatives, her name was Sarah Elliott. I have her name. And she replied to me saying that they would get, that she would look into it. And I told her, I appreciate you looking into it, but ultimately what I'm saying is I need you to get my stuff shipped because I've given you uh, whatever the quantity, whatever the, you know, the money is for the product, the 12 products that I've ordered, and now I need my stuff. So it took Sarah probably a week to get back to me. I didn't hear from her for several days. And she finally followed up and she said, hey, we've got your stuff. You should be receiving tracking soon. And next, the next day I did get tracking for um, two different tracking numbers. So I just went down the list and in the tracking, it had like all of the products that had shipped. And um, everything seemingly was fine, except for one product that was like the Pure Lease um, BB cream that had not yet shipped. So I just tagged her and said, hey, I'm noticing that this is not shipped yet. Do you mind following up and just making sure that this item also ships? Well, apparently that item must have been shipping directly from Pure Lease because it shipped completely separate, but I never heard back from Sarah to confirm that for me. So then um, I got my box. I got it, two boxes um, that had, you know, uh, I got two boxes, opened up my box, and I could tell one of them immediately something within the box, the content, was um broken or shattered or something because there was stuff leaking all over the box and it was just gross and nasty so i went ahead and um took pictures and sent sarah the pictures and said hey sarah i received my box thanks for the help on helping me get everything shipped out um however i did have one product that came completely shattered it looks like it was made of all glass and everything is shattered do you mind helping me either get it replaced or just a refund it was a six dollar product it's like normally 39 dollars, but it had been discounted to six dollars so the refund would have only been for six bucks so uh again i didn't hear from sarah um so then uh, that was at this point we're moving into september so i go ahead and i decide to go back to boxy charms website because i'm no longer receiving any emails from sarah i go i didn't getting i email boxy charm from their site hoping to get someone new to respond to me. Didn't get anything right away, no response from anyone. So I went ahead on Instagram, which I hate doing, and DM'd them and said, hey, I am waiting for a response on this. And they gave me the cute little Instagram response. Hey, beautiful, absolutely. Let's um, what, give us your order number. We'll take care of it right away. Crickets, okay? So then uh, that I gave them like three days to respond to me. Okay, I believe in courtesy. I believe in, I understand that businesses, when you're running a business, I'm a professional. I understand that when you're running a business, it takes time. And sometimes you can't answer every email immediately. So I gave them time. Well, it didn't matter because they apparently never planned on answering. So I went back to BoxyCharm's website yet again and asked for someone to respond to me. Finally, I get a gentleman that responds and he says, I'm sorry that you, um, you have been waiting for a response. Do you have the a picture of the label that the box came in, okay? Um, or the box came on, a, and then pictures of the, the, the product that was broken. So of course I had pictures of the product that was broken and I sent that to him. It was time stamped because of obviously when you take it on your phone, it stamps it for the date and the time. And I told him, I said, listen, these, if you're not, if you haven't paid attention, my correspondence with you guys is over a month old. So no, I don't have, because at this point, talking to him, we're in September. I don't have the picture of the damn label because that is over a month old now. That box has been thrown away. And like I said, it was soaking wet and full of glass. So I took the contents out, cleaned them up and threw away the, what was broken on the inside. I was super frustrated that he was asking for something so ridiculous, all you would have had to do is look at my order history. I mean, listen, I understand um, there's dishonest people out there. People might ask for, you know, people might try to steal or be dishonest to get more product than what they've paid for. But all you have to do is use a person's order history and then use common sense. So 
uh, after literally three days of back and, back and forth with him, he finally refunded the $6. I was so turned off by then, but I was still willing to hang in there with BoxyCharm, okay? I won't write them off based on their foolery or on this particular situation, even though this is like a two month long ordeal. Finally, um, or I should say next, now that we're in the month of September, I'm getting September's box. And uh, I noticed that my August box looks tampered with, okay? Like the products, like it looks like someone opened them, was checking it out and then decided, you know what? Yeah, this is a good variation to send to her or a product to put in the variation, put that in her bag or box and send it to her. So I'm start, I started giving my literal products a side eye. Now, like I said, it's skincare, it's um, sometimes hair care uh, and makeup. And that's usually what you get. And there's usually, you know, sometimes you might have a tool or two that pops in there, okay? But most of the time you're looking at makeup and you're looking at skincare. So things that are going onto your skin, absorbing into your bloodstream. Okay. So I'm pretty sure you're thinking the same thing. My product needs to be, my products need to be new and unscathed, especially in COVID season. So I started giving some of my products to side eye and I'm like, oh, this looks weird. And I started throwing things away. Now, mind you, that means I'm wasting money because I'm giving you 25, well, $60 a month one of the products that I received in September's box, and I think this came in my Lux box, was from Milk Cosmetics. And I was really excited about this product because um, it's perfect for the season. It's a lip scrub. It is their Lush Lip Lip Scrub. And so I open it up and it looks like here's your lip scrub. It's magnetic, so it closes. But as soon as I take it out of the packaging, I noticed there's a bunch of fingerprints on there that aren't mine because I haven't had a chance yet to touch the product enough for it to be mine, okay? So I'm looking at it like, mm. And then I, I do this, I pick the uh, touch the cap because I'm intentionally now wanting to see if there's fingerprints right around the chrome at the top. So I open it and not only do I see fingerprints up here, I see fuzz on the actual lip product, okay? So do you think I'm gonna use this? Heck no. This will immediately go to the trash. I've only been holding on to it because of this video and I wanted to share that. So guys, I think BoxyCharm has a great thing going as far as um, the quality of products they're putting in here. Sometimes they get a little lazy, I believe, with their variations and that's, some, that's another reason why I decided to cancel, cancel. So while it's all good to come on camera and tell people about the amazing things that they can get from BoxyCharm and all these other companies, you also have to be willing to get on here and tell people the real when things are not 100%. So I wanted to share that part of my experience with y'all. Um, I know that there's grumblings in the beauty community about some other um, interesting practices with BoxyCharm. That's not my experience to speak on. I'm gonna let somebody else do that. But based on all that, I would say that BoxyCharm has some room to grow. I think that they have grown quite a bit, especially over the last two to three years. And they've kind of gotten too big for their britches where they need to take some time to slow down and look at the overall customer experience. What do you want your customers to say about you when they're not a big YouTuber? What do you want your customers to say about you when they're not getting paid to speak to your, speak on your brand? So that's all I have to say about that. Okay, YouTube, hey, that's all I have for you today. Again, if you've enjoyed this content, do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.